uh, nearly 100 days into the actor's strike, and there are claims of a split now between some of Hollywood's most powerful actors and union leadership. Tonight, union president Frank Drescher is pushing back. KCAL News reporter Lauren Posen with the details for us. The big stars offered to throw hundreds of millions of dollars on the table to get Hollywood back to work, but they were snubbed by the union. SAG after president Fran Drescher saying while generous, it's illegal. They can't accept because everyone is under the same contract. But what this really has done is expose a rift between the actors and union leadership. We're out here and we're going to continue to stay out here until something equal and fair is established. Labor contracts are notoriously difficult, but what's playing out now is unscripted territory, even for Hollywood. The overwhelming um, consensus is that uh, I don't think anybody expected that it would reach 100 days. With the studios and actors at a stalemate, Hollywood heavyweights George Clooney, Ben Affleck, Meryl Streep, and other A-list actors offered to pay more dues and accept smaller residuals, to the tune of $150 million over the course of three years to get Hollywood working again. But sag after president Fran Drescher says the proposal wouldn't legally work. And although that's extremely generous, and we accept that graciously, that does not impact the contract that we're striking over whatsoever. Deadline senior editor Dominic Patton says the power and persuasion of the A-list actors might be better served elsewhere. As many people have been saying, like it might be the real thing is, let's see those people, those A-listers out on the picket lines. Actors are also starting to show their frustration with the union's focus on smaller issues like this. Halloween guidelines warning members not to wear costumes inspired from struck productions like the summer's blockbuster hit Barbie. Former sag after president Melissa Gilbert slammed the move, writing on social media, we look like a joke. Go negotiate. People are suffering. As the window gets smaller to get a deal on the table before Hollywood goes dark for the holidays, Fran Drescher's leadership is under the microscope. What I think that you've seen here is, is a real power play in Hollywood. There's been some backfighting against her. There's been stuff that's out and out sexist and misogynist and, and demeaning and condescending. And she's not backing down. We're going to get through this just one day longer, one day stronger. Love you. And as of now, no talks with the studios are scheduled. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Posen, KCAL News. Tonight, some West L.A. residents are angry after the city council unanimously.